Disparities have been identified in breast cancer diagnosis, treatment, and outcomes in black women compared to white women. We sought to determine the use of sentinel node biopsy in black patients compared to, to white patients who are clinically node negative. The sentinel node biopsy is a minimally invasive surgical technique that is used to stage the axilla in early breast cancers. The sentinel node biopsy was developed to prevent major complications associated with axillary lymph node dissection. The purpose of the study was to characterize the use of sentinel node biopsy in black women compared to white women as it became the preferred method of axillary, axillary staging in the mid-2000s and to evaluate racial differences in clinical outcomes. Using the SEER Medicare database, we began with an, an initial cohort of over 51,000 women with invasive breast cancer diagnosed between 2007, 2002 and 2007, with fee-for-service coverage and no evidence of distant metastasis. Of this cohort, we studied 31,274 patients who were pathologic node negative and had a documented axillary surgical procedure. Of the 31,274 patients, the median age was 74 years, 4% of patients were black, 75% of patients had T1 tumors, 62% of patients had a lumpectomy, and 73% of patients had a sentinel node biopsy. For sentinel node biopsy, the median number of nodes removed was 2, and for axillary node dissection, the median number of nodes removed was 11. The use of sentinel node biopsy in black patients was 62% compared with 74% in white patients. Again, these are pathologic node negative patients. And in other races, the use of sentinel node biopsy was 65%. The overall use of sentinel node biopsy was significantly higher in white patients compared to black patients with an absolute difference of 12%, which was statistically significant. As expected, the use of sentinel node biopsy increased from 2002 to 2007 in both black and white patients. However, this racial disparity persisted even as it became the preferred approach. At the most recent year of diagnosis in 2007, when sentinel node biopsy was the preferred method for axillary staging, the, dis the racial disparity was still evident at 83% in white patients compared to 70% in black patients. Across the study interval, the percent utilization of sentinel node biopsy in black patients lagged two to three years behind the percent utilization of sentinel node biopsy in white patients. We also evaluated the risk of lymphedema in black patients compared to white patients by the type of axillary surgery they received. Black patients having a sentinel node biopsy had the same five-year cumulative uh, incidence of lymphedema compared to white patients having a sentinel node biopsy in the range of 7 to 9 percent. This shows that if black patients had the appropriate axillary surgery, they were not at increased risk of lymphedema. However, black patients who had an axillary node dissection had a doubling in the risk of lymphedema compared to those patients who had a sentinel node biopsy. Black patients who also had an axillary node dissection had a higher lymphedema risk compared to white patients who had an axillary node dissection. In summary, sentinel node biopsy use has increased in both black and white patients as it became the preferred method for axillary staging. The disparity in sentinel node biopsy use showed that black patients were 12% less likely to have a sentinel node biopsy. This disparity in sentinel node biopsy use translated to a doubling risk in the lymphedema that black patients received as they were more often to have an axillary node dissection. Therefore, focused education should be broadly instituted when implementing new practice recommendations so that all breast cancer patients can receive, uh, can have the best clinical outcomes. More contemporary data is needed. We are looking forward to determining whether this disparity persists after 2007. Thank you.